A leader who rules for his lifetime, brooking no opposition and demanding absolute loyalty from the people and the party. A system that fosters a personality cult in his name. But also a leader whose untrammeled power sends the country careering towards chaos and disaster. China carefully constructed a system of checks and balances after the death of Mao Zedong to ensure that never happened again with collective leadership and limits to how long anyone could rule. In the past few years, Xi Jinping has steadily dismantled those checks and balances, centralizing power and replacing collective leadership with a much more personalized form of rule. Finally, he engineered a removal of a constitutional limit on the country's president only serving two terms, a move that was formally endorsed by a near unanimous vote in the National People's Congress. So could China be heading for that kind of disaster again? For the time being, the answer seems to be no. Xi has more power now than any Chinese ruler since Mao. Echoing Chinese communism's founding father, he says the party must lead all aspects of life in China. The government and military, culture and education, society and business. East, West, North, South and Centre. The party must lead it all. And, at the top of the party, enforcing loyalty through a powerful new anti-corruption super-agency, she rules the roost. But modern China is not Mao's China. And today's Communist Party is not the party of six decades ago. Mao was the founder of the nation, a man who lived in an era before mass media and social media, the leader of a much less sophisticated economy and bureaucracy. China may have followed him into collective madness, but that doesn't mean it would necessarily follow Xi with the same mix of fear and unquestioned devotion. But that's not to say there aren't real risks. In the short term, Xi's supporters say he'll use his power to improve the way the party governs China and serves the people. But in the long term, history tells us that one man's supreme confidence in his own ability is not a recipe for good governance. Xi Jinping is leading China in a more authoritarian direction, but also in a more nationalist direction. That's already ringing alarm bells in many Western capitals. With the decision to remove the limits on how long he can rule, those alarm bells have started ringing a little more loudly.